Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. And I am going to be reading from Planets in Transit by Robert Hand. And this is a thank you actually I have to go out to Kathy who is enabling me to read Transiting Saturn in opposition to Natal Pluto. So for all of you who have that in your natal wheel. So thank you, Kathy. Like all opposition transits, this can have two opposite effects. You will experience one or the other or a combination. This transit represents the culmination of efforts begun 14 years ago when Saturn last conjoined your natal Pluto. This can be the peak of their effectiveness in your material universe, but it can also be the time when it becomes clear that those efforts did not succeed. Most commonly, you will experience a mixture of these two efforts. On one hand, the conjunction of transiting Saturn with your natal Pluto was the beginning of certain efforts to build structures that would allow you to fulfill your ambitions and give you control over your life. At that time, you excluded certain areas of activity so you could focus more effectively on the areas you wanted to influence strongly. Now, the consequences of those decisions and actions are manifest. You have succeeded in making your energies felt in your world, both personally and professionally, and you have the control you want and need. But you have to work extremely hard, and you have tremendous responsibilities that you cannot let down. For this reason, even at its best, this transit is a time of great physical strain. Take great care not to damage your health through overwork. No matter how well you have prepared for this time, you may have taken no more than your physical vitality can handle. Unfortunately, this is not a good time for letting up or taking a vacation. In struggling to get your present position, you may have triggered off opposing forces, possibly enemies, which are waiting to move in when you show signs of slackening. The best thing to do is hold on, maintain your efforts, and do everything in your power to conciliate these forces. Make it clear that they have nothing to gain by your defeat and everything to win by your victory. Make yourself indispensable to them. If this is a time when your expectations are disappointed, that is, if the other side of this transit is manifest, you will feel that something in your surroundings gets in your way every time you try to make a move. As described above, you have aroused opposition from others. But if you have not been successful in reaching your goals, the forces of opposition will be stronger than you are. The best thing to do in this case is to stop resisting, find out what you can salvage from the current crisis, and start moving in a new direction. However, remember that you are most likely to experience a combination of these effects. Work to maintain the areas of life that are working, conciliate the forces that oppose you, and cut your losses. If you try to win losing battles under this transit, you will only succeed in losing the winning ones as well. Okay, well, I hope this was helpful. Until next time.